I'm back. Anyway, look. Um, uh, that's one of the wonders of wearing wigs. Anyway, our next guest is fabulous in his own right. He went from being a small town boy in Pennsylvania to becoming the most famous and fabulous figure skater in the world. He was the star of the 2010 Winter Olympics and he's now written a book about his life called Welcome to My World. Please welcome the fabulous Johnny Weir. <laughs> Just for you. They are fabulous. Oh, those are loops? Yes, loops, 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 loops. Those are yes. Just for you, though. And you've got your black jeggings. I love that you do that. You've got your black jeggings, your nude. It's my uniform. Your nude, you know. This is Ballet the slipper mom. nude. Yes. And I'm loving, is this the bracelet attached, or is, the, what is um, this? It's a Lexus Bitar. It's all on its own, but it's kind of a cheese grater, just in case we had that moment. Yes. There was some pasta or something. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, just because we were hungry. <laughs> yeah. And then your hair, fabulous. Okay. Eric Alt is my stylist. He came with me this morning. He trekked in early. Yeah, good. I know, the snow. Mm. Fortunately, we didn't get as much as everybody said we were going to get. So now... I wanted a dump, though. I wanted feet of snow. So did I! <laughs> anyway, so we've all been watching Skating with the Stars. Um, yes. Johnny's a judge. Um, is it coming back for a second season? I would love it if it came back. I think America really enjoyed it, and we had, you know, millions of viewers every week, and it did really well, and everyone was excited and there was drama and falling and injuries and it's kind of everything America loves in a television program. Yes, and, uh, and the drama between you and Bethany Frankel. I, look, I hate to say it, but it was really entertaining and I like both of you, but it was really entertaining. <laughs> So we have a clip of a really uncomfortable moment with okay, Johnny just, I love that. and Bethany. Hit it. The element at the end, the Detroiter was fantastic. You were nice and stiff and strong. But to me, it's very clear. You don't care what we think. And I don't really care to watch you actually perform anymore because you aren't listening to our critiques. <laughs> Like he meant it, yes. and then Bethany said it like she meant it in the press. She said some insulting things to you, something to the effect of, "She is the woman that you wish that you could be." Yes. 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 So Wendy, I was in Australia, and somebody sent that to me in an email, and just said, "You know, Bethany said this." And there's a really strict rule when you're on television, you're judging people. You can't talk to them. They can't talk to you. But I, I heard this, and I was very, you know, offended. So you know, I said, Bethany. If I wanted to be a woman, I would have had the surgery years ago. I'd be Johnny Weir with a vagina or Lady Gaga. Oh. I don't need to be you. Hey. You know, moving on to other things, this is one of the, and Suzanne's book cover is fabulous, but this also is one of the most <laughs> fabulous book covers I have ever seen. Thank you, Wendy. Are these extensions in your hair? There is a little weave in there. Fabulous. <laughs> but I'm really good at busting my weave. I will, you know, I'll whip my hair back and forth. Yes. <laughs> now, now, in your memoir, uh, you're officially coming out. Why did we need an announcement? Look at him. I, I was never in, and it shocks me that people are having such a, a fun time with this this coming out. Yes. I was never in. I've always, I've always been Johnny Weir, and you're always Wendy Williams. Yes. I mean, that's what we've got to push in the world. Don't, yes. don't push something that you're just born with. Show us something else. And, you know, I mean, was, was you being gay new news to your family, or have they known since you were yay high to a beanpole? You know, I'm from a really small village in the country, in, in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay. So, I mean, it's not as commonplace. We don't really, you know, have very many differences. Yes. Everyone's kind of white and Christian and normal. Yes. And, um... No yeah. blacks, no Jews, no gays. Exactly. Exactly. But for the grace of God. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to bring some color, you know. Yes. And, um, you know, everyone kind of suspected. I've never hidden it. I've never shied away from it. And, so I mean, I'm... You've got the perfect name to be gay. So I'm, when you I'm, about, I'm about as gay as a box of rainbows. Oh. 
<laughs> when you were young, though, it had to be very hurtful. I know you heard Johnny Queer. Johnny Queer, old. Johnny Weird, the, being called the F word, you know, all oh. sorts of things. Well, and but now you're out, you're successful, you've got a little money. Do you have love in your life? Are you wearing a ring? No. No. I am married to a Boeing 777. Because you're always flying. I'm always doing something. I just got back from Russia three days ago. Now I'm promoting a book. My song was number one yesterday in Japan. Uh oh. Yes. It's called Dirty Love. We'll dance to it later. Dirty Love. It, it was, it, it's like climbing on the American dance charts. The book came out yesterday. Now, are you still living over in Jersey? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 you know, you're married to your career, which is wonderful, but you're a kid. How old are you, Johnny Weir? I'm seven and a half years old. Say. Um, would you ever think of competing again in the Olympics? I would love to. The next Winter Olympics are in Russia, and, and Russia is such a special place to me. I would love to compete there, and I'd be welcome there like, the hometown kid. Yeah, and you're always welcome back here. Thank you so much for coming Thank back. You. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. You guys, Johnny's book is called Welcome to My World, and it's in stores now, and he brought a copy for everyone in our studio.